Okay, firstly, a massive thank you for um, this donation, not only for the money itself, but for the opportunity to raise the awareness um, of the fact that looking in lymphoma research are actually present and active in Leicester and Rutland. Um, I support this charity because my daughter was diagnosed with leukemia at age four. She's now 13 and she's absolutely fine. Um, the treatment, the standard treatment for children with leukemia is two and a half years for girls, three and a half years for boys, eight different types of chemotherapy drugs, preventative antibiotics every day for that period, um, steroids, high dose steroids that are pretty vicious in themselves. Chemotherapy is administered in four different ways, orally, intravenously, inter deep intramuscular, um, which after two or three of those, it needs three of you to administer it, two to hold the child down and one to put the needle in. Um, and intrathecal. Intrathecal is via gen general anaesthetic, injected via lumbar puncture into the spinal fluid because the spinal fluid is what prevents the blood cancer spilling into the brain. My daughter had 26 blood transfusions. She had um, 17 general anaesthetics by the time she was six years old. And that's a cure. That's, that's a really great result. And that is me standing in the cancer ward knowing that I'm one of the lucky ones because my daughter's only got leukemia. And the reason that I'm the lucky one, my daughter's the lucky one, is because of this charity. Without the work, the focused work of this charity researching blood cancers over the past 50 years, children like my daughter wouldn't be alive today. My mother wasn't so lucky. My mother was diagnosed in 2011. Completely different type of leukemia. Um, she was 78 and there was no treatment available. So within a matter of months, my mum died. And again, this is why I support this charity, because the treatment is so vicious for blood cancers. There is so much work that needs to be done to reduce the toxicity of treatment, to improve the treatments, so that more people can be cured who currently don't have any treatment options available. There are over um, something in the region of 13, I believe, different types of leukemias. Lymphoma is another blood cancer, which is the most common blood cancer in the 15 to 40 age group in the UK. There are over 30 different types of lymphomas. Myeloma is a blood cancer, is the blood cancer that typically affects the older age group, um, the over 60s, and there is no cure currently. Blood cancer is the disease responsible for the most deaths in the under 40 age group in the UK. That's why the work of this charity is so desperately needed. We are a local charity. We've had a local branch here for 50 years. And um, probably hardly any of you know that because we're not very good at shouting about what we do. We're all, it's all voluntary, it's all people like me. Um, and today, for example, we, we, um, we've got the new chair. I was chair, I've been chair of the branch for the past three years. The new chair is at Shackleston Family Day today, doing a Teddy Tombola. We've got Jill and Barry, who have been part of the branch for the, over 20 years. Barry, bless him, has prostate cancer and bladder cancer and is undergoing radiotherapy treatment at the moment. They are sitting doing the Leicester Forest East Gala. We work very, very hard to raise funds for this charity, for research. But we're not only local in terms of the voluntary branch here. The Cumulant Lymphoma Research have invested over £2 million in Leicester in world-leading research over the, over the past, I don't know how many years. We have world-leading research right here in Leicester University, funded by this charity. We also fund research trials, clinical trials, that are treating people every single day in Leicester, in Nottingham, in the Midlands, in the UK. 
we're not a glamorous charity, but you know what, we're a really worthwhile charity, but we've still got a lot of work that we need to do so that we can claim more lives back from blood cancer. And again, I can't thank you enough for supporting well, us. Thank you.